All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to MC Potoski Talk Show here on YouTube. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, according to your time. Zoom, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are welcome back to this great platform where we react to all videos that comes our way and bring you guys the latest happenings around the world, Nigeria in general. If you're first on this great platform, please consider to subscribe and also put on chomper ladies and gentlemen i bring you guys latest happening today so guys i'm going to leave the video to play so that you guys can still watch the video and also drop your comments at the comment section what you think about this video and you don't have to be scared because everybody is entitled to his or her own opinion umuchineke Kain Gawa to be trifled with. It is not it is not contestable. It will take, you know, uh, the I don't know how to put it. Mm. I'm unconscious or I, I, somebody who has consul consciousness as in George to rule, you know, otherwise it's too basic. It's like one plus one plus one is two. It's as clear as that. Mm. Yeah, no. so, so, uh, so what is the sequence of events now? I mean, uh, are you getting any sense of when this will come up in the tribunal? Of course. I mean, within the, this week or next week, it will start, the case will start, you know, uh, at the tribunal and then, then the appeal court. Right. Um, but, uh, so, it's not, we are fully prepared and ready for, I mean, we have a solid uh, case. Mm. You know, they were so careless. You know, and reckless in the manipulation of the results that you don't need the primary it's only school board who say tell, tell you that there's something wrong here. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the court because um, I'm sure you heard the latest warning from the Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, to the Labour Party's presidential candidate, your candidate, Peter B, against causing an uprising in Nigeria over the 2023 election results. He suggested that Mr. B and uh, his running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed, have been saying that Nigeria's democracy will come to an end. If Bola Tinubu is sworn in on May the 29th, Mr. Mohammed suggested that Mr. B was trying to incite an uprising in Nigeria. What's your reaction to that? Mr. B never said uh, what that. He didn't ever say that uh, there will be. You know, the only person who made, who made a statement in that respect was the vice presidential candidate. And I remember what he said was that he qualified it. He said on the basis of the evidences available publicly available is to tantamount, tantamount to something of a group right mm. to swear in the beneficiary beneficiary of such a of such a you know such, such a, uh, that's what he said you know, look what is the basis when they, why are we then in court if you are pursuing the court when uh, all of us everybody's attention is solely concentrated on this you know the court matter now so what does it uh, why will anybody uh, in any case look the gentleman who is making the allegation that is his second nature i'm sure you know that people have changed his name to lie like a liar moment you know and he has been doing that consistently so he's living up to his reputation but let me remind you of something in 2015 he was the publicity secretary of the apc go and look at the newspapers at that time let me to form parallel government, render Nigeria ungovernable. There's nothing they didn't say. You know, the baboon and soul flow in blood. So unimaginable provocations just because he had a president at that time. He was a complete gentleman. Now that well I don't know, does it go down, does it compare with anything you know, on the scale of what they have said? In twenty nineteen, the same line Muhammad was saying PDP was planning an insurrection in the country civil war or something they are going to start with eight states yeah and when it is going to st when it was going to start so i asked you look at it when he made that statement you know the man was talking off his heart he was lying 
And of course, the lie was proven subsequently. He never made the reference to it again. That what I said at that time turned out to be a lie, turned out to be fake. And that is his calling card. You know, so that is what the, is happening. I don't take anything that comes from me. It was on record about the week ago saying that this election is the best election that has ever been conducted in Nigeria. Of course, when it comes from me, that's I have no problems. You know, you know, it lives in a world of alternative reality, alternative facts, and banded it around when it suits it. The question, though, is I mean, I, I understand the, the point you're making, and um, I understand your, your, your sense um, that they're trying to distract you from the path that you're taking but where does all this put the Labour Party and the obedient movement today how harmful has this been to your cause because I mean it's intended to make, have, get some kind of elicit some reaction not just from you but from the public and possibly sway their minds in a particular direction either with the truth of it or with the malice of it or however you want to construe it no you know fortunately the, 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 the obedience i mean the backbone of the PD obedience you know the enlightening you know quite confident members of the younger generation so it's very difficult to fool those people or sway them from the path of uh, uh, truth to lie. That is not a challenge that we will take you know, uh, in our stride. I mean, it will come. There's no, the, we, we are up to the challenge, you know. Look, once we are dealing with a different kind, you know, of a political, you know, uh, movement now than what has happened before. Nobody, nobody is in there to go and steal money, nobody is there to go and get position, nobody is a sense of sacrifice for the country and the future of the country. So when all these things come, you know, the thing, the, the thing that, that pains me is that it now reveals, you know, the enormity, you know, of the challenge that anybody intending to rectify what is wrong with Nigeria is going to face, right? Look, I've been trying. I've been trying to look around for uh, uh, a parallel. I've never seen in any country, maybe not in Nigeria, where you s declare the result of a presidential election at 4 a.m. Have you? So look, these are the kind of things that give them away. As at the time he was declaring the election, results were being uploaded all over the country. They put paper, pack, pack, packs together and, and just declare the thing like that. It, for a Well, they would argue that it doesn't really matter what time well, it they declared no, no, it. I mean, that's when they got no, the final see, results. See, no, 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 no. It's, you know, it's part of what doesn't belong to you. You want to steal something. You steal it all the cover of darkness. <laughs> you know, that makes, well, that sounds that, a bit superstitious, doesn't it? But that is what, <laughs> and that's the, that is the analogy. I mean, if you are confident of your winning, if you think they are done, cannot meet the scrutiny of light, of daylight. Mm -hmm. And they started that symbolically by getting the certificate in the night in the video where the witches and so on. <laughs> and the horned sort of exactly. demons and things <laughs> when they come abroad, eh? Exactly. But, but what is the pathway now to victory that you see for Mr. B? I mean, I know you talked about the courts and so on, but I mean, he came third and to yes, and the difference between the votes that Einek said he got and those that Bola Tinubu got is 2,693,193 votes. In addition to that, Mr. Obi scored 25% according to Einek's results in 17 states, which is below the threshold of 24 states. I mean, how are you going to upturn all that in court? But that is precisely what we are contesting. Those, fig those figures are fictitious. No, I know, but well, well, I'm, I, I'm not saying that I know that it's fictitious. Right. I'm saying that I know that you're contesting it. And mm. what I'm wondering is, how are you going to upturn that in court? Because, I mean, I've seen your, I've seen your, as they call it, your dope sheet that you submitted to the mm. court. And, I mean, I, I don't see, on this particular thing, yeah. um, I mean, it's a long sort of, mm. you know, it's a long um, 
But I am wondering in a nutshell. Yes. Um, see, let me just give what you what it is that you've. Okay, okay, just hold on for a minute there, because we're okay. looking at live pictures of Donald Trump. Um, you, you might have heard us talking about Donald Trump earlier in the day. Uh, Mr. Trump, who was arraigned uh, at a court in Manhattan uh, today. We've been covering it all evening on Arise News. Uh, he's just left the courthouse, and presumably he's going to the airport and is going to board his Boeing 757 to return to his Mar-a-Lago estate in uh, Florida. But more information coming out of that Manhattan courthouse now. Um, as you know, Donald Trump faced criminal charges there. He pleaded not guilty to 34 felony charges of falsifying business records and that's the latest that's emerging from that courthouse in uh, New York and we're looking at live pictures there of his um, cars he's in his motorcade um, heading presumably either towards Trump Towers where he spent the night or to the airport he had said that he was going to board a flight and uh, go his plane of course and go straight back to Florida um, where his Mar-a-Lago estate is based but uh, we don't know for sure but we're looking at those live pictures and it's been an extraordinary day in court in um, New York today and of course Akin Oshuntokun is with me in the studio who is the Director General of the Labour Party's uh, campaign council. I mean do, do you see this sort of thing ever happening in Nigeria in the context of what we've been discussing? A former president, um, somebody as high up as that arraigned before a court on, on, on a matter of law and um, the rule of law and justice? Yes, of course. Look, even in this the instance you are, you are citing, it's unprecedented. Mm, it is. Yeah, and so in America. Yeah, exactly. So, mm. I mean, that... that but it has happened. It has happened. Mm. Well, it's th the same can happen here, but you see, it has happened uh, under different circumstances, mm. you know, uh, like in African countries, when the military takes over. Like in Ghana, when uh, Rollins took over, mm. he arrested all the four former presidents. You know, and that's not the standard I'm recommending for Nigeria, but that that has happened. Mm. You know, not under, um, uh, not under, but it's something. You know, uh, although that's happened in France and Israel, Sarkozy was. Um, uh, Found well, the yeah, Sarkozy in, in France. And then the right, right, prime yes. minister of uh, Israel, I forgot. Even by Netanyahu. Mm. So it's um, it's not as uh, unprecedented. But Trump himself, Trump himself is an unprecedented. Mm. You know, he, he, Trump in any society, even by African standard, Trump is a failure. He's, he's somebody you cannot wish. He sets out deliberately mm. to so poison to look you in the eye and tell you that black is white and get people to accept it to the point of believing in to, to want to shoot other people. We watched the American elections globally. We saw it. We saw what happened. Then the president of America said it, we did not see what we saw. Uh, you know, so, but we are not talking about Trump here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, right. So yeah, let's yeah. Uh, let's uh, leave the Trump thing. But just to summarize very quickly, Donald Trump pleading not guilty to 34 criminal charges during that court hearing in New York. He has now left the court after a hearing that lasted about an hour. And Akin, uh, High Chief Akin Ashuntokun, I should say, um, who is the uh, Director General of the Labour Party's Campaign Council. We've got just a couple of minutes left in the conversation. What do you expect will happen next? What do you think will prevail? Well, what I hope for is for justice to, to prevail. You know, justice as in, you know, uh, setting the wrong, a, a wrong process, setting mm. it right, you know. Uh, because as I said, look, the weight of the evidence that we have is not is something that I don't know if the judiciary can survive it if it rules otherwise. 
you know, it is that stark, you know. So, of course, I look forward to, uh, to justice being done. And Nigeria deserves it. Look, the hope of any country are the youth. Right? These guys came out to make a difference. What not the rules procedure that we set up? Right? They went in doing, wanting to do the right thing for this country. And then you, and then you dashed uh, their hope in such a callous manner. Right? The results we are talking about, the result of Lagos State. Right, for instance, look, it was all over the place. All over, everybody had it. That's the duty of uh, 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 the beavers. The irony was that it was INEC itself that now subverted what the beavers were supposed to achieve. The INEC server, or whatever they call it, suddenly. It was me. No, there are things I don't, I don't even want to say. But see what these guys did. What you did, 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 did. And, and of course, what makes it worse is the collaboration of the security agencies, the police especially. Right? And of course, you have been seeing synchronization between what the, the DSS says now and what APC is saying. They now echo one another. Right? Right. Well, we'll have to watch and see what happens um, when that court case begins and uh, hopefully ends. Uh, Hi, Chief Akin Oshundokun. I want to thank you very much indeed for coming in. He is the Director General of the Labour Party's Campaign Council. And thank you also to, for weighing in on our live uh, uh, on Donald Trump. Thank you. Thank you for watching that video. We appreciate and this is where I'll be leaving you guys. But if this is your first time on this great channel, please do it to subscribe and put on your notification bell so that whenever we upload any video for this great channel, you will be the first person to see the video. So guys, see you guys some other time.